happening everybody Rajay back to take a look at another beer this time we're going to take a look at one from Rogue Ales out of Newport Oregon this is Dad's Little Helper Black IPA this one comes in at 6.8% ABV 92 IBUs as always Rogue has some pretty cool artwork they put onto their bottles which I always like but this one should have a nice little kick to it does have some finer details written on the label itself. I'll look to include that stuff in the description as well for you. But always a fan, it seems, of Rogue Ales. Go ahead and get this open and let's get it into a glass. Nice can of smoke out of there. Oh, it's got a nice little, nice little fruity smell. Smells, smells pretty good, people. No, I'm going to go ahead and use a shaker glass for this one. Preference is usually a shaker or tulip that's indicated. Go ahead and get that right there into the glass. And as you can see, that is dark. I'm not going to call it jet black. Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah, this is pretty much close as you can get to it. Pretty much I would call it jet black. So... Maybe a real, real dark brown, but you're not seeing through that. The head itself, nice two-finger head came out. Head has some rockiness to it. Nice tight bubbles in there. Can't see any of the carbonation because it is so dark. But the head itself is a tan head. See how that goes as I drink it down. See how we get some lacing on the glass possibly. And see how long that head may stay around. Go ahead and get an aroma. Only aroma. Up front, you get hit with those nice hops. You get that earthy, that pine type smell. A nice moderate strength of the notes here. Um, comes out of the glass rather easily. Get some of that fruit citrus smell. I want to say actually on the fruit, it's almost like a... You get some orange, but you also must almost get like what seems to be like a little bit of a pineapple type smell in there real citrusy then you get some of that earthiness you would expect to get from a IPA type beer but overall aroma is okay nothing really jumping out of the glass outside of you what you would usually expect except maybe that tinge of kind of a pineapple orange uh, citrus amount I'm going to get a taste on the taste I do get hit with that bitterness the bitterness kind of hits you late though. It's almost it hits you as you swallow the beer rather than initially on the tongue. Goes in very smooth when it first hits the tongue. And then as you swallow, you kind of pick it up there. Textures, a little more watery than I would like on an IPA. You get like a flavor in the mouth. It's almost like a dark fruit um, that you're getting in the mouth. You're also getting some, what seems to be kind of like a chocolate almost type taste got a little bit of a chewiness to it you do get it's weird you get like a somewhat of a aftertaste where you have a little bit of that astringency but not as much on the lips where it makes you pucker but more again as you actually swallow the carbonation beer. seems to be okay not too bad um, not over carbonated in any way it's kind of soft as far as the body itself it actually sits about as a medium body beer on the mouth. I do get a little bitterness there on the tip of the tongue the longer you hold it. Nothing really jumping out as much. Um, has almost kind of a type of flavor that is more to the malt than it is to the hops. Um, usually in the IPA you have it the other way around but this one has more of a a malt forwardness with it than you would kind of expect for a, a black IPA. It's a little bit different, a little bit um, unique in a way it is. Um, you can see now some of the lacing on the glass taking place. Still keeping a little bit of the head there, so the head does last kind of nicely. I think overall it's not a bad beer. I think it's okay. I think it's not anything that really jumps out at me though. Um, Take a look at what some of the ratings are here. Great Beer has it as an 88 overall, 55 for style. Beer Advocate has an 83 as good, which I'm thinking is more down around that area. I think as far as a black IPA goes, 
On the aroma, you do get that. On the taste, it's a little bit more lacking for me there. Um, I think it's okay, but it's not anything that makes it stand out too much. For me, I'm gonna actually give this one a B minus. Would I drink this one again? Actually, I have to have another bottle of it, but would I go out and look for it again after that? Probably not. Um, I think it's just one of those you uh, you try, and if you like it, you like it. Um, but it's not one that I would definitely recommend. I think there's some other black IPAs out there that might be a little bit better than what this one has to offer, but Rogue usually does some great things with beers, and it's not a full disappointment. It's just one that doesn't really suit me as much on this beer if you've had this one before you know definitely let me know that's dad's little helper put some comments in the comments section let me know what you thought about it uh the nine ingredients the malts great western two row malteries franco belges carawheat weyerman melanoid melanoidin <laughs> weyerman carafe special two Hops, Newport, Chinook, and Cascade, yeast and water, uh, check pills, yeast and free range coastal water. Um, so there's the nine ingredients they actually use as well. But not a bad beer. You know, that aftertaste you actually get now, it kind of reminds me of something like tobacco. So I think if you have maybe with something with a cigar, it could enhance the experience with this beer. Um, I kind of get that in the back of my throat, kind of that, that tobacco type um, flavoring. So there you have it, Rogue, Dad's Little Helper. If you see it, you know, why not experience it? The only way you know more about beers is to try different types. Glad I tried it. I'll finish the next bottle, but then from that I'll move on to something else down the line. But thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. And as always, if you want to keep up to speed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'm going to say cheers. I look forward to seeing you next one.